Hi there, my name is Pat and welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. I have this special citrus plant that I hydroponically grew from seed. It is called a calamansi tree. Calamansi is our native citrus version and it has a sweet sour mixed taste of a lemon, lime and orange and it has a fragrance that is citrusy and floral. Calamansi is very popular and can be squeezed as a juice or used for baking or cooking. It has been windy and raining heavily in my area. We have had a couple of typhoons pass by. I needed to check my calamansi tree, which I keep outside my window, checking the overall appearance of the tree and the level of its nutrient solution. Upon inspection, I noticed that many leaves were half eaten, and as I looked closer, I found the reason. It was a dreaded caterpillar, an unwanted visitor enjoying my calamansi leaves. Ah, he's eating my leaves. This is my only hydroponic calamansi tree, and I'm sacrificing it just for this guy to live. And as I searched further, I discovered it was not just one intruder, it was two, and who knows, maybe more. So that made me panic. Should I kill these caterpillars, or should I let them live to become butterflies? A consensus among friends said that I should make them live. So I followed their suggestions to separate them from the calamansi tree by placing them inside a jar and watching their progress. I only found two caterpillars, so that's the good news. The other good news is that after placing them inside the jar, the next morning I woke up to see the caterpillars in their chrysalis stage. I guess they had eaten enough calamansi leaves the previous days and they are now slowly developing into a butterfly. On the ninth day, you can now see the outline of something strange. On the tenth day, the outline looks like antenna, legs, and its wings all wrapping around the butterfly. I thought it was so weird, like it had ears and tiny hands, and it was waiting to burst open right into your face. You know, like the movie Alien? Okay, that was gross. Sorry about that. Alright. How about the chrysalis looking like Dracula in his coffin, waiting to spring out late at night? Yep, that's a better picture. And on the twelfth day, I noticed the wing areas turning darker and that there was a little tear in the case. This has got to be the day the butterfly comes out. I waited, and nothing happened. Maybe the next morning, I thought. Well, the next morning came, and this is what greeted me at 6 a.m. Butterflies. I can't believe I miss them coming out of their case. So if you're curious, here's a short video from the website of Butterfly Circle. I discovered that my butterflies had the same features with this butterfly. This species of butterfly is commonly called a line butterfly. How appropriate for my calamansi tree. I'm guessing that the butterflies I had were male because the females have a blue and bigger black spot on the bottom of the wing. And the technical name of my butterfly is Papilio de Malayas Malayanus.
I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. When I took out the lid, the first butterfly happily flew away. So this is the second one which I carefully placed on top of my basil plants. It eventually flew away and now I have a happy calamansi tree. So there you have it, a gardener's dilemma solved, at least for now. Thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos. Until then, bye bye.